how familiar are you with ECG changes that can be seen with pericarditis? So we know that pericarditis is going to be inflammation of the pericardium, which is the sac that surrounds and protects the heart. If that becomes inflamed, there are a few clinical signs and symptoms that you can see, including ECG changes. Of the ECG changes that you'll see, PR segment depression is one of them, and it's actually pretty specific for pericarditis. So what is PR segment depression? So as we know, this is the PR segment, okay? Normally, this area should be at the isoelectric line, but with pericarditis, it's actually going to be below the isoelectric line, so depression. And you will see this in all leads except AVR and V1, where you'll actually will see reciprocal changes or the opposite of, okay? So instead of PR segment depression, you will see PR segment elevation in these two leads. In addition to this, you will see diffuse concave ST elevation. And you'll see this again in all leads except AVR and V1, where you will see reciprocal changes. So you'll see ST depression. What does the concave portion mean? Well, that just means when you look at this ST segment, it's kind of smiling at you, okay? And this is a telltale sign that this is a non-ischemic result for the ST elevation, which is going to be different than if you would see a convex or a frown face for your ST segment, or if it is flat, which is going to be more associated with ischemic reasons for ST elevation, such as you would see with a STEMI. The last thing that I'm going to be talking about here, because I want to make sure I have enough time, is that you will see what is called TP segment downsloping. What is that? Well, if you look at the end of your T wave and the beginning of your P wave, this is the TP segment. The downsloping, again, just means that it is not flat on that isoelectric line. The reason for this is that we have this PR segment depression and this ST elevation creating this down sloping. Now you can also see some elevated tall peaked T waves, which again is going to be related to the fact that we have ST elevation. But those three main things, the PR segment depression, the concave ST elevation, and the TP segment down sloping that are diffuse with reciprocal changes in AVR and V1 are the signs that you will see with pericarditis and a 12 ABCG. Thank you.